In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at the corner fillet or chamfer tool. This tool is made to make it easy for you to calculate chamfered and rounded corners. You could also draw the contour in SimCam and have it do the corners for you, but when programming manually, sometimes you just want help to calculate a thing or two without having to draw anything. This is where this tool comes in handy. Open a milling machine and go into settings and select millimeters if you do not already have it set. Have a look at the drawing. We are going to program this M-shaped contour but as you can see, we do not have any information about the arc centers. This can be easily solved using the corner tool. Let's start with the program. Type $add embedded reg part 2 to add an embedded workpiece to the machine table. Type $read t is embedded tool so that the simulator will use tools from the embedded tool registry. Type T2, M06, to select the tool. Type G00, X0, Y0, Z46, to position the tool. Type G01, Z44, F200, S1000, M03, to feed down to the start position. Look at the drawing. We are at position 1 located at X0, Y0 and we want to solve the first arc. Position 2 is at X14 and Y88. Position 3 is at X42 and Y41. Let us key in these values in the corner tool. In the tools menu, under helpers, you find the corner fillet or chamfer tool. Fill in the values for each corner point. Fill in the radius. As soon as you have entered all values the tool will show you the blocks to create these moves. Click the insert a cursor button to copy the blocks to your program. Now, let us simulate the program we have so far. If you look at the drawing, we have actually moved a bit too far as we are now at position 3. We fix that by deleting the last block. Then we simulate again. Now continue with the second arc. Open the corner tool again. As you can see, the tool automatically fills in point 1 with the current tool position. This is why we suggest you simulate to the start position before opening the tool. This time we have x42, y41 as point 2 and x70, y88 as point 3. Let's fill them in. Click the insert at cursor button and simulate the program. As before, we are now a bit too far as the tool is at position 3. Delete the last block and re-simulate. Again open the corner tool and fill out the final coordinates. The first one will be filled out automatically as before. Type in the corner values as before. Click inserted cursor. Simulate the final result. Now you know how to use the corner tool. We hope you find it helpful in your future projects. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. Have a great day.